Porridge New Faces, Old Hands Norman Stanley Fletcher, you have pleaded guilty to the charges. It is now the duty, my duty to pass sentence. You are a habitable criminal who accepts the rest and imprisonment as occupational hazards. We therefore commit you to the maximum term allowed. You will go to prison for five years. Three new arrivals, Mr. Leach, Helsham, Cyril, 41, three years robbery, thick as two short planks. Godber, Leonard, 23, first offender, breaking entry, could be corrupted, possibly by this one, Fetcher. Norman Stanley, 42, five years, I brought him up from Brixham, knows the score, sir, done a lot of bird, water off a duck's back. Are we watching that one? What a beautiful... Day for the time of year. Quite astonishing, beautiful day. Oh, lovely. Perhaps we could go out later on a cycle ride. You know the saying about New Year's Day. Whatever you do then, you'll do it all year round. In, that, in your case, that's powerfully true. You, laddie? You, Mr. Gobber? First time, isn't it? You must, you must be wondering what a prison day is like. Tell him, Fletcher, exactly like the day before, a voice of experience, and tell him how the average day begins. You will be welcomed by a deafening bell at 7 a.m. All the screws come, pardon, the prison officers come better, offering you a lawyer to say, wakey, wakey, get your socks on. We apply to this remarks like, gracious me, is that the time? And who's been having you already while you've been up? Been on night duty. Very comical, like Fletcher. Very comical. Eight o'clock, slop up. Eight ten, breakfast. Eight fifteen, return to cell. Nine o'clock, yes, Fletcher. Nine a.m., slop out again. Followed by work until eleven fifteen. When we exercise, we're in pairs. No cause for first thing, we prepare. It's in front of you. It is followed by a little flat highlight of the day. Quite Fletcher. I'm asking her, her slop. Who? Her slop. You've been inside. What is the highlight of the day? Visiting hours. We're in a Cumberland man. Cumberland. The wild ones slept, fell. Nor for the Pennines. We are two weeks from Houston. When you see your loved ones, it'll be the highlight of the year. Glad you come. Cause we're gonna be going. Cause he's gonna go, be going on, Fletcher. Sir. Highlight of the day. Dinner, sir. Which is nourishing, is it not? Can't wait. Twelve o'clock. Midday. Bang up. Not what that not what you think, laddie. Not that you think what do you think. You'll go back to your cell thirteen hundred, slop out, work, tea, evening association in principle. You will follow the range of activities. In practice is me television or ping pong. Tell you only till seven. It's only news and kid stuff. If you like his egg cards, forget it. You you have to get your kicks for the wombles of bleeding wombledon. Seven thirty slop out supper seven forty five lights out any questions any point none whatsoever at ease so this is colditz compared with this place colditz was a doddle a load of public school boys digging tunnels and playing leapfrog no this is nick didn't didn't you hear me him slop out exercise work to exercise work slop out lights out lights go out at seven forty five here colditz they didn't they're brewing coca cola and starting the pillow fights not not come in Oh, sorry, Gobber. Who said you could cut smoke? Did I say you could smoke? He didn't want you to. He doesn't want you to smoke. I was trying to give him up anyway. I I'll help. I'm leaving you now, Mister with Mister Barrowcloth. He's oh the one more thing. Nice to have you with, you with us. My wife is coming next week. Who said that? He said he said once a year. Oh, my wife is coming next week. Spending the overnight with her cousin in Barrow for Vaness. It's not fair. She stays there indefinitely. Is staying in Barrow in Vaness a fair on anyone? Herzlop, sir. Stand up. Step up here, please. Now, Christian names. Cyril. Date of birth. 1st of April. 1993. 1st of April. Hey, what? What? As, what's happening now? Oh, we're about to be dehumanized. We, they'll take away our possessions, give us a number and a medical. We get a bath in six inches of water, watch out for the bathhouse cleaners. Why, a load, a load of trusty puffs work in the bathhouses. You know the, the, you know all the form. Have you ever been there before? 
No, but there's, they're all the same. First time for me. Don't know all how I got through. Could be worse. The state of this country's in. You could be free. Stuck outside with no work and a crumbling economy. Nothing to do but go to bed and increase the population. Won't be long. For, won't be doing that for a while. No, that's true. It's a tasteless joke, isn't it? I feel deprived me. My fancy Denise very active in that direction. Have to drink a lot of tea, won't you? What's good, what good tea you gonna do, gonna do? Is what they put in it, isn't it? What? Something to moderate your memories, Denise. I don't drink tea. Oh, God. You're in trouble, aren't you? So this chap you share a cell with at all. I throw myself into me hat mailbags. Do they? Do they do that here? Depends. Oh dear, look at him. Little red riding socks. Here. I'll tell you what. A word of advice. What do you tell um how conditions, how tolerable your life will be? You fancy a nice cosy job. Like your kitchen. You've got to invent a new career. I see. I see. I see. Let's have one of you. Hang on. Two truck ices, please. It's Fletcher, isn't it? That night. That's right, Christian name, Norman Stanley, date of birth, 2nd, 2nd, 32, can execute Isabel, a little woman, not she's so little, I said to her, to her the other day, never get over you, I have to get up and go round, address, 107, 100, part, at present, in five, got probation, librarian during the day, a day, well, yeah, at night, I was a chef, pulled me, pulled me down, put me down for the library, or the kitchen, good morning, governor, I'm not so sure, I'm not sure it is. What's wrong? It's my four-eyed butterfly fish. Four eyes? Ah, that's the one. With four eyes, so, uh, no, that's just called, it's just called that, Syndrome to Capitatius. Look, here he is. My poor, how oh, poor he is, sir. Poor me, sir. You notice, I assume that you're, from your demeanor, sir. Yes? Well, I'm afraid, Mr. Mackay, you may develop film rot. Oh dear, oh dear. Or oh, limp for coccyces. Oh dear, oh dear, it's contagious. I have to isolate him. Much as I, I have had to do with Evans, Evans, I had to isolate him again. What's he done now? He's been eating light bulbs. Did he say why he was eating light bulbs? He said it was because. He couldn't eat razor, get razor blades. Why? What did you do? Lock him in his cell. Have you moved the light bulb? Is, is the MO3? He's with their new arrivals. But I could hurry them up as quick as possible. This is very urgent. I'll get Evans now. Not Evans, I mean here. Here? Fit rot. Fit and rot. Maybe photo with some eye. Or the wall fish, right? Here? What do you see the doctor tell him? You got bad feet. Why? You may, might get your brother, brother keepers back. Otherwise, you will get prison boots, which will give you bad feet anyway. What are you laughing at? That's true. I don't mean that. I mean it's funny about your wife being big and you having to get up and go round. Oh yeah, yeah, thanks. He's in long. He's in for long, is he? Remember about your feet. What region are you? Religion are you? C of E, I suppose. That's no good. Everyone in C of E, they don't get perks with that. If you say you're sick, you grow. You can grow your hair. If you're Muslim, you're allowed to have special food. I don't like Chinese food. I'm not, it's not, it's not Chinese Muslims, aren't Chinese. What Muslim food, what's Muslim foods then? Well, it's damn sight better than the rubbish you get in here, isn't it? Otherwise, a Muslim wouldn't eat it, would should they? Would they? Oh, they say that you were, you were Jewish. Jewish get special food too. Yeah. Say that the evidence is so conventional, isn't it? They've been circumcised, right? Doctor coughs and mutters. Pardon? Coughing, nothing. I'm a medical officer. They're very reassuring. I've got to give you a stringent medical. We have to know your medical history. A state of health and state of health. Right, Fletcher, 
Have had crabs? No. I don't eat, eat seafood lice. No, VD. No, suffer from any ba- illness. Bad feet. Suffer any illness. Bad feet. Paid a recent visit to a doctor at the hospital. Are you in my bad feet? Are you ever been practicing homosexual? What were these feet? Who have me? Right. You're A1. A1? Hang on. I can't even walk. Doctor, everyone in his prison trying to pull at something. Lying about their feet. Their eyesight or their teeth. On top of that, the governor's got fin rot. He's got what rot? Fish. Top of bloody fish. Oh, it's an interest of his. Fish, typical fish. Oh, interest of his. It's fish, obsession. Oh, that's pig. That and pigs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he studied for prison farm to indulge his interest in livestock. It's, a re- it's the rest of us who have to look after it. Yeah, he's pigs and fish. His pet, Jersey cow. I'm a man of medicine. Not a vet. Half the pills here are f- animals. I gave a prisoner of ear rate pills to dry up his milk. Oh, dear. You must be run off your feet. Yes, luckily you're not bad like my, like mine. You're A1, I told you. Fill one of these flasks for me. For here? Behind the screen. Oh yes, right, I slot. You didn't, you didn't pull, you didn't pull that one. What? Prison shoes. All right. Sonny? Jim? Loads of you. I lost, learnt something here about the governor. He likes tropical fish. That's another priority. Keep your governor. No, that's another priority. No, your governor, Fletcher, what? What does he mean, practicing homosexual? One who can't quite get it right yet. Will we eat with the others tonight? Do, but don't be in a hurry to move in with the other lot. They're a bunch of criminals. Don't eat too much for most of this, or you'll dull your palate for tonight's place of resistance, which is likely to be lumpy and lukewarm. I told you to say you were Muslim. Sheep eyes. Where? Sheep eyes. What Muslims eat figs, dessert, desert and things. Oh yeah, thank you. Lots of Arabia. Why don't you put that a Muslim as working in the kitchen? They wouldn't indicate my us jobs yet. I know, you, you see. The tall screw looks like our fashion and stilts. He's putting my hands. You ever seen me all right? How come? I come up with bricks and handcuffed him. You're bound to stop it poor, for over we pull. Long trip, especially when you go to the laboratory, a sense of humour. They come in handy during the next two years. Two years, I'll go out of my mind in my mind. Because it's only screw you. Just keep your nose clean and do your porridge, okay? It's only here due to, you're only here due to so tragic sentences. Which were, I got caught. All suffered tragedies like that. My auntie got in this flat. Well, this is her mum's. Very nice. Overlooks of M6. Lovely. I thought we'd get some nice things for her. Right? From nearby flats. I did the next. Flat next door, because I knew we were driving to Brussels. But he got a punch and near the commentary and came out home and kicked me head, hit me head in. Ramsgate, what? Took the wife? Took the wife where to Mr. Where, Mr. Slop? To see Lawrence and Arabia is raining. Couldn't go to the beach. Took her to the pictures. Lot rains a lot in Ramsgate. Rain the next day, I told you. She's seen the other film. So we had to come home. Although we did stop for a cup of tea. My uh, sister's a sick cup. Why didn't you, why didn't you just put a, put that on a postcard and send it to Tony Blackburn's Magic Moments? What? I was sharing with you two. I miss your intellectual conversation. Don't, won't we be together? No, I have my own cell. I'm not, I don't like sharing. I don't like dynamos and people's sweaty feet. I like my own cell so I can study. Oh, I really got no, do, oh, you got old level geography. It'd be handy when you're bound to escape potty, because you know the way to Cully's Cully, 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 station. Geography is very interesting. That's handy. You're bound to be in escape coat party, because your geography to teach other people geography. What use is it knowing the capital of Siam or what 
what this infamous is. I say I can learn I can learn a trade. You in theory? We can come out of here with a diploma and occupation like house decorating, or you could become a welder. It's a riveting profession. Here you come here with a diploma of an occupation like house de- decorating. You can come out here with a diploma and occupation like house decorating. Or you can become a welder. That's a riveting profession. Get it? What? Never mind. When will I be able to learn to trade them? Miss Hop, first offender. When did he come out? When he came out, he was a brilliant forger. He went back for rescue and driving. I'm fed up with your whole life before you. What is an infamous? An infamous is a thing in geography. All right, it's a geographical thing. It's a strip of land, a strip of land. Ah, okay, education. I'm not saying I won't put down for education classes. I'm putting down for current affairs and pottery. You get an hour in a warm classroom and maybe a lady teacher. See a bit of fire when she's chalked. Uh, chalk. Nothing wrong with that education, mate. Fag. Ta. Eh, you know, we're not being, we're not being rude. And it's just that snout's like gold here. You, you were mad to give us, give us them. Do you, but you took them. Of course. We got to learn the hard way, haven't you? We're not poo getty. Just light one and stir it around. That's the idea. Drink up, lads, what's next? I'm going to see the governor. Clear all, all this up and put the fag out. Put that fag out. All oh, right. Waste not, want not. Here. I said you've got to learn the hard way. Clear and clear up, up. And clear off. Ever, ever I did, you'll manage to get what I asked for. There wasn't much in the library, just this booklet. No, you top of fish. Ah, oh, it's nice. It's a hobby of mine. Ah, oh, it's a, ah, oh, it's a governor's hobby too, really? i never been with a guest. He likes animals. He's on a, a local committee of RSPCA. I think he's better off running a zoo. Cage animals, you, you, you see? We're all, we're all the same. Talking of cages, I must be on my, be on my own because I don't like sharing. It's always okay. It's nest a lot of head shop. Not my into, not for my intellectual circle. I don't think, I don't think he, anybody's at level. The governor did start a zoo. He'd be in it. What's an infamous? Fetcher, you've got to understand that I'm a prison officer. You're a prisoner. You must recognize the relationship. I'm not here to be cajoled or conjured into doing whatever you want. Of course not. Would I ever? Well, as long as it's clearly understood. Yes, come on, speed up. Pick up your legs in front, cobblers. Let him in, Mr. Barrowcroft. Let him in. Lead him in. Lead him, let, lead him in, Fletcher. Left, right, left. Stand in front of the governor. Stomach in, in chest out. Fletcher Gobber, Hush, Hush, Slop. Yes, sir. Thank you. You have met him in. Been sent here to varying offences and sentences. It's not a top grade security prison. You are C class prisoners. But if any of you abuse us, less, less stringent control messages, you'll find that we run you like a ton of brick, ton of Fletcher. Are you listening? Face the law front. I couldn't help noticing your tropical fish. It's a hobby of mine, really. All right, sorry, Mr. McCoy. But if, there's only one thing bothering me. What is bothering you? I think you four eyed butterfish, butterfish fish. You've got a touch of friend up, sir. You're crafty, you are. Hang on a minute. I read in a port and the governor let me, let me. He fell, fell for your interest in animals. I told you, you, be, you what you said today would condition how you, your life is here, it would be. I think my O level impressed him. On your feet, lads. Well, it's a exciting day, Gobba. Your shoes will be costly by the M.O. How did you work that out? I said I had flat fleet. Would you believe Gobba was still has corroborability. Now we're go- do- going to break up. You up. One of you is moving to single. Quite right. Not so fast, Fletcher. Huh? Gobba, you get your things, Gobba. He's going to have a cell on his own. 
Gog than I thought it would be easier to study. I don't fancy Sherry, no offence. You're going to leave me here with a brain of Britain? All right. There'll be three of you. We're moving Evans in here. Not Evans. Not that frail shouldn't take each electric light bulb, lamps, bulbs. Only when he gets can't get a razor blade. Oh, dear. Permission to grow a beard. Jobs, kitchen, gubba, gubba. Oh, that'd be nice. All warm and second helpings. Library, head slop, library. Hmm. He's illiterate. Look here. I read a book once. Green it was. See what I mean? Listen. Why has he got the kitchen? He should be breaking rocks first go. This is victimization. Look, I'm a very old hand. I should have a job benefit my Syrian seniority special duties what special duties who's the governor's blue-eyed boy oh them special duties well he did establish a certain rapport it was cemented by our uh, interests in all creatures bright bright and beautiful you're the man you've been you're the man we've been waiting for that's right then that's all right then kitchen gobbler eats your heart out green morning fletcher morning sir i like to, sir I'd like to place a man in a job where he gets fulfilled fulfillment. Yes, thank you, sir. Did you finish the article in the Farmers Weekly? No, I didn't, sir. I would have done. Are you Evans? Edit.